Listen to this. My husband is my boss. My husband is number one. If my husband tells me, hey, sit down, I'll sit down. If he tells me you can't go out with your friends today, I'm not going to go out with my friends. If he says, hey, go wash this dish for me, I'm going to go wash a dish for him. I chose this man to be the king of my life, and yes, I agree with everything he says, and I do everything he says. And I did that because I chose this man. I put him in this position of my life, and this is how I honor and take care of and love the man in my life. So I tell women out there, you want a man in your life, you want to be happy, figure out what you would do when you are happy. Because I am happy. My husband does so many great things for me. And I would do that for him. I obey him, I respect him, and I let him be the man that he is. I chose a man that I wanted to follow. I chose someone to lead me, and that's why I will do anything for him. If he tells me jump, I'll jump. If he tells me sit down, I'll sit down. If he tells me go in the room or go up on stage, I will do either or. Anyways. That's a message for everyone out there. Love and cherish the king in your life. Shalom. Kah Laimla Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rakwan Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh, in the name of his Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work. In truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that is scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson re establishing the order. <clears throat> so, this woman is from the Middle East, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen another video of her, and she married a so-called black man, more than likely from the tribe of either Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. <coughs> There's a spirit moving in the earth today, and this is a strong spirit that was started from this gospel being preached, the Red Pill Movement. Men going their own way or MGTOW movement. <coughs> so all these movements were fueled by the fire of the gospel being taught. And we know that the apostles came on YouTube around July of 2007. So the ultimate red pill is the Holy Bible. <clears throat> Let's go here. So Esau knows this. They make fun of us. <laughs> in the movie, Coming to America, where they show this in that scene where Eddie Murphy took his bride to be, his bride to be in a back room. Let's go here. <coughs> Let's go to, see, look at this title, Christian Order. So the, the true Christians are Israelites, pursuant to Acts 11 and 26. And Acts 13 and 1, they were called Neger. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. So we are coming back into order by hearing the gospel. So this is a part of being born again. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is the most high. Any woman that don't follow this or don't believe in this, you should not marry her. If she believes in the word and has been cleansed by the word and her way of thinking, then she's probably suitable for marriage. If not, there's the door. It's not that hard. It's not that hard at all. But a lot of you simps, you're paying for about three to five different household units. 
and you can barely put food on your table. So this is a filter, a litmus test as to whether or not she's certified for marriage. Let me read it again. One moment. First Corinthians 11, verse 3. <clears throat> but I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is God. So when everything is in order, there is no chaos in the house. Arguing, debating. You don't do that at your job. There's an order at your job or in corporate America. Everybody knows their place, their role. <clears throat> so there is no confusion on who has the final word. But how is it in our families there's confusion, disorder, debating back and forth, arguing. So everything is out of order. How can you support a 80-year-old business that is not even in your family's name? You're building up other people's wealth and businesses, but families are destroyed. That makes no sense. Let's jump down to verse 8. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 11, verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. So the woman came out of the man. The man, the man was created first. Even when you have a baby, that seed comes from the sperm of man. Under white supremacy and feminism, women are falsely taught that that baby is hers. No, the woman just incubates the baby or transports the baby, nurtures and helps to develop the seed, which is the sperm of the man. We all have to be retaught because we've been taught nothing but lies here in Babylon the Great, America. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So when you go on etymology online, that word woman goes back to waif or wefe, which means servant. The Bible does not lie. See, let's go here. <clears throat> the Genesis 2, verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground of the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what, the, what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So woman means from man and goes back to waif or wefe, servant. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found any helpmate for him. Let's look up this word, helpmate. So Eve was taken from the rib of Adam. More than likely, she was his cousin or relative. Could have been a cousin or relative. 
Let's go here to help meet. Help meet comes from the Hebrew. Strong's age 5828. Azad. Azad. One who helps. Not a boss bitch or Miss Independent. I N D E P E D. All that craziness that Beyonce sings. She has a man, and she's a billionaire. So how can anybody fall for that? It makes no sense. Genesis 2, verse 20. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found any Help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. So she is a relative. And it was not uncommon for Israelites men to marry cousins. Let's keep going. <clears throat> We're going to go to Sirach 26. The book of Sirach chapter 26. Let's go to verse 13. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A man wants to leave his imprint to be able to impress upon his wife, his bride. All right? Not have a woman that that's puffed up in, in pride, that feels like she has it all together. But then you don't need a man, which is a psychological, uh, it's a psychological screw up or being misconstrued. So it's deception to say I don't need a man because every family is built on balance, a family that that in, enjoys success. There must be a balance in there. You need a nurturer, a caregiver, or caretaker. And you need a disciplinarian, the hammer, provider, and protector, which provides a balance in the family household unit. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is, is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Can you take advice? Can you be corrected? Or do you always have the answers? You got to always be right. You got to always have the last word. Then you're taken away from that man's ability to lead. You don't do that in the workplace or in corporate America. You're very passive and submissive, docile, smiling and giggling. So this society is upside down. Because there is no order in the homes. Let's go to Ephesians 5, verse 22. Now, I like this title, uh, Marriage Like Hamashiach and the Church. So a man will give his life for his wife, for his children. Just like our Lord and Savior 
gave his life. There's no greater love that one can have for a man than to lay down his life. Let's read this one, Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Let's look up this word, submit. Submit comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 5293. Upatasso. Upatasso. To be obedient. That was in the movie Coming to America, where she was under the subjection of her husband. To be subject to, put under, under obedience. And don't say you can't do it because you do it. You pick and choose when you want to do that. A lot of times I'll sit back and just observe, especially when I go out to restaurants. Many Eves are shucking and jiving and showing all their teeth when an Edomite man walks in. giggling, and being very, very docile. Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Provider, protector. So the fountain of living waters and the bread of life. That's the men of the Lord's head. So the head of the woman is your husband. That's your Lord. That's why the Bible says Sarah called Abraham Lord. Well, the husband is the head of the wife even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify. <laughs> so that's that provider and protective spirit from the head. So really, a lot of times our wives are taking on more than what they were created for. Your menstrual cycle is, is all thrown off. Your hair is falling out. You're taking psychotropic drugs, antidepressants, anxiety medication, because you're operating outside of your design. You're being overworked. Then he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So we need to be brainwashed by this doctrine. Our families are falling apart. Families are in disarray, out of order. So the society is out of order when the basic fundamental societal building blocks are broken. Our families. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Shabbat Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kwak Kadash, Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala, and the Bad Babao. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom. Listen to this. My husband is my boss. My husband is number one. My husband tells me, hey, sit down. I'll sit down. 
She tells me you can't go out with your friends today. I'm not going to go out with my friends. She says, hey, go wash this dish for me. I'm going to go wash the dish for him. I chose this man to be the king of my life. And yes, I agree with everything he says and I do everything he says. And I did that because I chose this man. I put him in this position of my life. And this is how I honor and take care of and love the man in my life. So I tell women out there, you want a man in your life, you want to be happy, figure out what you would do when you are happy. Because I am happy. My husband does so many great things for me. And I would do that for him. I obey him, I respect him, and I let him be the man that he is. I chose a man that I wanted to follow. I chose someone to lead me, and that's why I will do anything for him. If he tells me jump, I'll jump. If he tells me sit down, I'll sit down. If he tells me go in the room or go up on stage, I will do either or. Anyways. That's a message for everyone out there. Love and cherish the king in your life. Let's go.